In this video, we will talk about Simple Social Icons plugin from StudioPress.com. And this is very handy and very easy to set up a plugin which has a sidebar widget, and we have it installed on our website here. And uh, it's mobile responsive, and it's kind of recommended standard for the uh, for the industry. So, in other words, this is very cool plugin, very good one. Uh, what we want to do here, and uh, what in my opinion is missed here, is ability to just color those buttons, because whenever we go to uh, any social media, we are accustomed to see, like, for Facebook it's blue, for Pinterest red, for RSS it's uh, kind of orange, for YouTube it's about red, etc, etc. And we see that we have all the, all the buttons here of the same color. So let's go to the uh, backend area, admin area of our WordPress installation and let's go to plugins and click editor. And from the drop down menu on the right side, let's choose simple social icons and click select. From the files that we got here, we need to choose style CSS, simple social icons slash CSS slash style CSS and let's click that. And at the very bottom, we want to add, for the, each of the social buttons, we want to add a piece of code. So this upper one would be for general color, and this one would be the color on hover. Okay? Next step we want to do is to go to this website, findguideline.s. Why? Because it has all the hex code colors for each of the social websites we've got. So, for example, Facebook. Let's hover over and let's just copy this color. Let's return to our uh, installation. Let's click this. Then we want to do the same for which next button we have? For G+. Okay. So we changing this Facebook into G+. We are doing the same for Hover as well. And we're going back to this website and hover over Google+. And let's just copy over this color. Let's come back here and paste here. Which next we've got? We have, for example, Pinterest, because it will be red and a little bit different. So, let's come back, let's just uh, copy two pieces of code, let's just change this, interest, and also sorry, Pinterest, okay, and let's come back to this website and let's find the Pinterest. Where we got interest. Here it is. Let's just copy over the hex color. Let's come back to our plugin settings. Let's just insert it here. And let's update the file and see what happens if any changes occurred. So let's go to website and click refresh and see what will happen next. Okay, voila, we have different colors for different buttons. So next step would be to color uh, each of them, but uh, for the sake of this uh, video, I think it's enough. Thank you for watching.